Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on the look that I have on my eyes right now. It is a little bit dramatic, but I wanted to do a nighttime look, so I really hope you guys like the look that I came up with. It is mainly using the Anastasia World Traveler palette that I have on my hands right now. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't yet, and also don't forget to check out my social media on Instagram at Snapchat at SuperLeeCM and Super Sam. I'll list that down in the description box below and all the products that I use in this video will be listed down below So don't forget to check that out. But other than that, I will see you guys next time. Bye All right So we're starting off with tape on our eyes because you want to sharpen up the look a little bit I'm taking soft peach from the Anastasia world traveler palette and I'm going to fluff this into my crease This is going to be our transition color between our brow bone area and our crease and then after that, I'm taking this pencil brush and I'm dipping into my Morphe 35K palette. I'm dipping into the brown and the orange and then creating this cut crease on my crease just to define it a little bit. And then after that, you can fluff it out with any blending brush you have. My favorite one is a Sigma E40 and this is an absolutely amazing brush that should fluff out any harsh line and colors on the lid area. And this is basically what I'm doing, just fluffing it back and forth until it softens up a little bit. As you're blending out your crease, you just want to make sure that you add more color into the crease a little bit just to add more definition because as you blend everything out, the crease color will eventually disappear. So here I am, I'm just defining that and then after that I'm taking the skin like color eye primer and I'm just going to place that on my eyelid. This will create a nice definition between the eyelid color and your crease area which will create a nice cut crease look. And then I'm going to set that in with the BH Cosmetic Press Powder. And then I'm gonna go into my Anastasia World Traveler palette again. Take that pink champagne color and just place that on the eyelid. I don't know if this palette is still out. I have a feeling it is not, but you can always buy the single shadows from the Anastasia website. And this is the color called Pink Champagne and it's a gorgeous color. Then you're going to take Morocco and Fudge and you're going to place this on the crease just to blend out any harsh lines. And basically just add more color to the crease to darken it up a little bit. This will basically blend out the transition color, the crease color, and the eyelid color all together so that it looks very well blended. And then again, like always, you have to always go back with a pencil brush and define that crease again. And after that, I'm going to use my NYC Liquid Eyeliner and I'm just going to do my wing. Having the tape on the side of your eyes really help with wing eyeliner if you're new to it. But I found out that after I was done doing this eyeliner with the tape on it, I did not like how it looks like. So I went back and fixed it again because it was not good at all. As you guys can see, it was a little bit too thin. Anyways, wing eyeliner can be a pain in the butt, but if you have the tape, it really helps. Um, next, I'm going to add some inner corner highlight to my eyes. And I'm just taking a very white shimmery color from the 35K palette. And then I went back onto Morocco and Fudge and just kind of put this under my lower lash line just to create a more smoky look. Alright, so now we're moving on to the face. I'm using the new Marc Jacob Remarkable Foundation. I'm in the shade 36. I put this picture, I mean not picture, video on Instagram and everybody was saying that this foundation was too dark on me. But literally it matches my neck super well. I've never had a foundation that matches my neck super well. So I really like this foundation so far. It's a super matte finish but I noticed that every time I use it, if I spray a setting spray on afterwards, then I can get rid of that powderiness. And literally, um, you don't really need that much because it's so concentrated. So basically, I just dot it all over my face and blend it out with my Sigma Flat Top Kabuki. And as you guys can see, it blends out very nicely as well. If you guys have super dry skin, just make sure to prep your skin before putting this foundation on. Overall, this is a pretty good foundation. It's very full coverage from what I'm used to. But next, I'm going to take my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the number 20. And I'm just going to fill in my dark circles because, you know, everybody struggle with that, especially sleeping late at night. And then I'm going to highlight my face as well. All right, guys. So if you guys notice, I do sound very congested. That's because I have a cold and I've been coughing like crazy. So please bear me through this voiceover. But then I'm just going to highlight my face like I told you guys earlier and then I'm going to blend everything out with my angle flat top kabuki from Sigma. You guys can use the code SIGMA2016 for 10% off your order. The link is down below for you guys. And then after that, since I want to brighten up my under eyes a little bit, I'm taking this concealer wheel from the BH Cosmetic makeup line and I'm just going to put that banana color and just place it under my eyes just to brighten up my eyes a little bit. If you guys haven't tried out this concealer wheel, you guys totally have to. The product is very blendable. It's not tacky or sticky, 
which is what I like and it actually lasts on all day so it does increases under my eyes that's why I like to use it under there and sometimes I like to use the other shade to contour or just color correct my face due to like dark circles or any dark blemishes and after that I'm going to bake I'm using this NYX loose banana powder and I'm just taking that beauty blender from TJ Maxx and I'm just going to bake under my eyes my nose area and then on the side of my jawline just to create a sharp contour when I contour my face and then after baking, you just want to brush everything off. I'm just using this contour brush from Sigma. And then after that, of course, you got to add some color to the face because you do look very like white after just doing this part. So I'm going to use my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, the Contour Kit. I'm going to take that Sigma F23 brush, which is an amazing brush to contour with. I'm just going to contour my cheekbone area, forehead, jawline, everything else that you need to do when you're going to contour it. So far, I've been really liking this contour kit by Kat Von D. I've been using it more than my Anastasia one, which could be a good thing and a bad thing. I actually kind of miss my Anastasia one, but I've been enjoying this one so far. So next up, we're going to use blush. I'm taking a blush palette in the shade Dark, and I'm taking that left color and just going to swirl that all over my cheeks to add some color in. And then after that, I'm going to take my favorite highlighter ever. It's from Laura Geller. It's called Gilded Honey. I'm going to place this all over my cheekbone area. And then I actually went back and used Champagne Pop by Becca because this is an amazing highlighter. I feel like it's a little bit more pigmented than the Gilded Honey one. So I used this and I'm basically just going to highlight both of my cheekbones again. And then down the bridge of my nose area, Cupid's bow, chin, forehead, everywhere because a girl got to shine when they put on highlighter, you know? So while I was highlighting, I was like, something is missing. And I found out that I forgot to contour my nose. So I went back into the Kat Von D contour palette and I used my Sonia Kashuk brush and I just decided to contour my nose because it was absolutely weird before having my nose contour. So after that, I'm just going to blend everything out with a stipple brush and put on some lip color that I did off camera, lashes and everything else. And then that is basically the look. So I really hope you guys like this look. I know it is a little bit dramatic, it's more of a nighttime look, but I really hope you guys give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to me if you guys haven't yet. Follow me on Instagram and Snapchat down in the description box below. And on that, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Bye, guys.